Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and once again, welcome to the Bulldog Chronicles. Today, we're sitting with Mr. Justin Abston. How you doing today, Justin? Doing good, sir. Justin, congratulations on order as you captured your first Southwestern Athletic Conference victory. Um, your win came against a young man that plays for the University of Arkansas Pine Bluff. Just, just talk about that experience. Well, uh, to talk about that experience, mm -hmm. let's see. Well, the opponent I played, it was good. It was good. Mm -hmm. And a lot of opponents I played, they, they're really good as well. Mm -hmm. And for this to have been my first legit match that I've won, mm -hmm. it was deeply overwhelming. Mm -hmm. You know, it was to the point where I couldn't even express myself really when I won. Mm -hmm. You know, I was happy, but at the same time, I couldn't believe it. Like, like, hey, did I did I really just win this? You know, it went good and everything. Hard match. We both played hard, gave it all. Fell a couple of times. It got real intense, mm -hmm. even aggravating at some points. But uh, yeah, basically, you know, good sportsmanship. You know, we shook hands in the end. We was able to, how you say, become some sort of some sort of like friends. Mm -hmm. At the end when normally it'd be like a grudge match when you play tennis against other opponents. Mm -hmm. It's mainly like, hey, go out here, beat them, show no love, get back off the court and support the rest of the team. Now, Justin, you not only claim your first uh, Southwestern Athletic Conference victory, but you claim the first victory in that match versus Arkansas Pine Bluff. And like I said, that match was a uh, much-needed conference win for you guys. Um, just talk about not only winning your first match, but winning the first match in that match, because you're uh, the number, you play the number three position, correct, on yes, the men's sir. tennis team, and the number four position, um, um, the number four position, he won his match, and then you guys doubled up and won the doubles competition, which claimed a three-two win for you guys. So you guys not only won in singles, but you won in doubles. Mm -hmm. So it was a winning day for you that day. Yes, sir. It was a it was a really great day. Great day. And uh, Justin, where are you from? I'm from Jackson, Alabama. What high school? Jackson High School. What made you choose to come to Alabama a and Well, what made me choose to come to Alabama a and at first, I was really interested in the band. Mm -hmm. um, my days in high school, I was in the band, more of a percussionist than a uh, wind instrument player and everything. Mm -hmm. So, when I started to actually look into different colleges, Alabama a and was one of the first colleges that was thrown at me to look at mm -hmm. because it was it's so many people back at home who went there and they're like, you should really go there, it's a great school, mm -hmm. you should go there, progress in your learning, get your degree, mm -hmm. you know, get you a good job in the future, that way you can be financially stable to support your family. Alright. So, I come to a and and my friend, who we once went to high school, he graduated before me and everything, but found out he was on the tennis team. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the tennis team, how the players and everything, they're cool to be around, how they travel, they play great people in matches, basically worthy opponents. Nobody mm -hmm. wants to be a part of something and just up and get an easy win. Mm -hmm. Nobody. So uh, I talked to my, I talked to Coach. Mm -hmm. I'm like, uh, Coach Mundy or Mr. Willis is something you call him. I'm like, uh, hey, I'm interested in being on the team. Mm -hmm. He looks at me, he's like, What's your name? I'm like, Justin, you know, tell my name, where I'm from and everything. He was like, okay. You go to that, go to the athletic office, let's see if you make compliance. So I go down, fill out all of the paperwork, then make compliance. Okay. So like always, you know, you gotta wait, you gotta wait like a year. Mm -hmm. So I come back, mm -hmm. coach calls my phone, one day I'm sitting in the mall, filling out a job application. Mm -hmm. He says, hey Justin, you still want to play tennis, man? <laughs> I said, Coach, you right. I sure do. <laughs> and this was like towards mid-January. When he called me that day, I said, forget the job application. I said it to the side, came straight to his office. Finished mm -hmm. filling out the paperwork, and boom, here I am. History was made from there. History was made from there. You mentioned some of the top-level competition you guys have played. You guys have played top 25 teams. You guys have played the University of Alabama, University of Auburn, Troy University, uh, Western Kentucky University. How was it when you stepped on that court and seen these top 25 type team, caliber teams? Well, 
it was a bit intimidating. Because <laughs> me personally, I'm an Alabama fan. Mm -hmm. Who would have known me going to school at an HBCU would have actually played one of those top colleges? Mm -hmm. Auburn, not too much of an Auburn fan, um, an Auburn fan, but I have a cousin who plays for the team, Sammy Coates. Okay. I have no choice but to support Auburn. I have no <laughs> choice. But playing though, and Troy, mm -hmm. got a lot of friends go to Troy. Mm -hmm. They wanted me to come. I was like, it's not my calling yet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but. Um, Playing these other teams, I really had to say, even though we couldn't pull out the big win in the end, it was still an honor. Okay. It, it was really still an honor to compete against them athletic-wise. Mm -hmm. And you guys did an exceptional job. You, know, you mentioned you guys didn't pull out the victory, but you did at least provide a scare and show them that even at Alabama a and um, we are very competitive and we don't care who's across that court, who's across that field. We're going to give you, you know, our best and our best – most likely will give us the victory. Not every day, but it's going to make sure it's going to make that opponent go back and work on some things because they realize they exposed you guys were able to expose some weaknesses in their in their uh, play. Yes, sir. Justin, what's your major? A major. I'm a business management major. And what are you planning on doing when you once you graduate? Well, once I graduate, I really plan to actually come back and how you say get my master's. Mm -hmm. You know, because usually once you graduate and get a degree, um, you don't technically just graduate and boom, you have the job of your dreams. You still have to work hard, you know. People have to notice you for your skills that you're good at. Or if they can't do that, do something about it yourself. Mm -hmm. Start your own business or something because, you know, you're not going to like, you're not going to start off with something like, like a million dollar corporation or something like that. You got to mm -hmm. start off small. Think big, dream big, hey, you'll have something big one day. So, really, when I graduate, I really, how you say, want to work under somebody who is already at that status. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody who I can really compare myself to, like, hey, I see you worked hard over the years to get to where you are. I want to be in your shoes one day. Mm -hmm. I've done this, I'm experiencing this, and I have these skills. Mm -hmm. Can you work with me? Mentor me. That way... You know, when I learn more from him or her, whoever it is, mm. I'll be able to break off and start something my start something myself even better. Justin, this has been an exceptional interview. I've really enjoyed it. It seems as though you have your uh, head on the uh, on the path that you're going to take, and you know, all Alabama and them graduates have that uh, have that path that they're going to take. Um, we thank you for joining us on the Bulldog Chronicles. Um, and we wish you luck the remaining of the season. Thank you, sir. Thank you.